all going off in chests and out. There's police everywhere. What's going on? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And this weekend we are in Chester. So we found this little gem of a car park in Chester and it's called the Rudy Car Park. Little Rudy Car Park. Isn't <laughs> Not it? as in rude, but as in R W O D E E. Um, and it's a really, really good spot. We're literally, where are we? Five minutes from Chester yeah, we're right Town next, Centre. Right next to the race course. It's on Park for Night or Search for Sites, one of the I think it's on Search for Sites. Um, have a look, yeah. It's a decent car park and it's fairly well priced, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really, really cheap. So we've been to Chester many a time, haven't we? A few times. And it's a really, really nice city. Gorgeous, in fact. Uh, it's all like, you're all black and white houses and things from oh 17th century I don't bit, know it's a bit like Chester it is Chester yeah. what are you about? <laughs> it's a bit like Stratford I think he means yeah there's a lot of history in there but it's better than Stratford yeah. I think it's a lot lot more a lot more history to have a look at yeah so yeah. we're gonna head into the city centre now we're gonna get some breakfast aren't breakfast we? first so as you all know we both love our scooters we've had them for about two years now but they're still only doing these trials in the big cities. Seriously need to get the law changed or put some implement some law the way we can all use our scooters. <laughs> and Mark's just been told off for standing on it. What did it say? Uh, like please unlock and ride or something. You need an app, don't you? And yet you, you put your credit on your app and then you just scan it and uh... Yeah, so it's alright to come into these cities and pay to use their own scooters, but we can't use ours. Yeah. How rubbish is that? Well, it's a company called Ginger who got these. We're seeing a few scattered around when we got here last night, didn't we? So Yeah, well they're all over the city. But come on, we really need to get some implemented now. Everyone's got these scooters. Put some law in place so we can all enjoy them safely. Yeah. Um, we need to make it legal, don't we? We need to make so it nice. legal now. It's been long enough now. You've had enough of a trial. So we've just found this street. It's called Bridge Street. Look at this for history. somewhere for breakfast haven't we? We have, are we are at Bridge Street, Bridge Cafe and Bistro. So we just walked around the corner aren't we onto Bridge Street and it's here and it's quite cheap isn't it? My god, it's what you got, he's got toasty and chips for breakfast, you can't take him anywhere. Oh, we're only six pounds or something Six pounds, a man's three pound ninety for poached eggs on toast, bargain. But I've got a sausage and cheese toasty and a coke haven't I? So. Yeah. Can't, can't, can't argue with that price, can you? Mm -hmm. And it's it's that nice, we can sit outside. Yeah, it is, it's warm. We're making most of it before it rains in the bit, which I think it's going to It's forecast to rain later on, but... So breakfast here, poached eggs on toast and noir. And look at what you've got. Breakfast come, dinner come tea. Yeah, sausage, sausage and cheese toasty with some chips. Happy boy? Oh yes. Yeah, what are we having for dinner? Well, that was a bit nice, weren't it? All right, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. How much? Fourteen pounds seventy. Fourteen pounds seventy. Coffee, two corks. Two cans of pot. Toast yeah. that came with chips and poached egg on toast in Chester City Centre. Yeah, it's all right, like, isn't it? And it's the only place you can get your breakfast or anything to eat and look at some Roman remains. Yeah. Wow. So it's like two pots or something, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So. Strange. So the city centre is actually pedestrianised. They're just getting some cha tables and chairs out now because early in the morning, the cars have been coming up and down here, aren't they? Yeah. And the traffic wardens have just literally coned it all off now. So yeah, it's great now. There's no cars on the pavement. We can walk around and browse at our own leisure. There's lots and lots of eating places in Chester, isn't there? Look at all this lot here. All yeah. getting the tables and chairs out, ready for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, I will say, all your Chinese takeaways are like <laughs> out the side the city walls, if you will. There so. is no Chinese takeaways. We've not seen one. We've seen Chinese restaurants. There's haven't restaurants we? nearby. We had. We well, last time we came all time before we had one, didn't we? It was a uh, Chinese sitting. I can't believe we're talking about Chinese when we've just had breakfast. Do you know that look burnt toast and wellies? 
It doesn't take much to distract him, does it? So as well as all the old buildings and shops, there's a place called the Rose. Now it's R-O-W and it's like balconies that they've got above the shops that run all with the length of the main street. I'll just I'm show you now. If you look above here, there. So these are called the Rose. And they step up all the way along, aren't they? Like next to that shop there. And they go all the way down the main street. Yeah, so if you're looking for somewhere to come and have a look that's got plenty of history, I recommend Chester. This place is spot on. There's so much to see and do, isn't there? Mm. We're now, yeah, it's low, isn't it? We found this pub a few years ago. It's called the Boot Inn. It's up on what, what I said earlier on, the Rose. The shop underneath is, is fillet, isn't it? The shop yeah. underneath, but the you pub You can at see the, the pub at the top. Uh, 1643. Now, if Mark's good, I might take you back in there later on for a quick snifter. <laughs> but you don't have phones and stuff in there, do you? No, I don't think they, that's I don't think it. they pick up the builders are that. No, big. they don't allow them. No. You're not allowed any electronic devices in that pub. Yeah. Uh, I think they just want to keep it like ye old yeah. traditional times where people spoke to each other instead of going on the internet. So, yeah, we'll have a look in there in a bit. Again, wow factor. We've just come around the corner, and Chester is famous for its cathedral. But we didn't know it was so close to us. This we're just looking yeah. at this stunning building in front of us, and just up there is the stunning cathedral. We'll have to go and take a closer look at that. which is absolutely huge. Look at this here now, Mark. How they've done this um, cover on this, it looks like you can walk through the tunnel. That's quite good, isn't it? Mm. But then a big horrible green box there and it must be like electricity box somewhere. But yeah, we found the cathedral. Wow. What do you reckon, Mark? Mm. Old, isn't it? Well, they usually are cathedrals. What do you reckon is happening to this tree here, Mark? <laughs> What's going on there? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, seems to be a lot of um, poles holding nothing up, really. Yeah. <laughs> Bless it. Look at this door. It's all gone, isn't it? Like... They're normally really tiny, aren't they? What are you doing? <laughs> they won't let you in anywhere. It's, it's a place of religion, Mark. It's nearly as old as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some work gone into that, isn't there? What's this cross thing here, Mark? Does it say? It's a memorial for the World Wars. Oh, is it? Yeah, for World War One and World War Two. Police are there, though. Mm -hmm. That's look at that tower up there. Massive, that, isn't it's like it? in Germany, isn't it? Like? Yeah. And that's your entrance to your cathedral there. If you want to come and worship, then's the times there. So today, five thirty. So we're just coming round the corner and there's something going on. So what's going on here then? Seems to be lots of protests going on late, doesn't there? Yeah. Everyone's protesting and on strike. We'll um, bypass that one, I think. Look how old this is here. It's a bit weathered, that, isn't it? Yeah, but it's old and then there's new next to it. Yeah, it's strange, is that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a gateway. Where's it a gateway to? Look, <laughs> Nowhere. So you're entering a historic site. Please be aware of uneven services. Little Abbey Gateway, Mark. But it's very old. Look at that. Here, look. You see up there, that was the original entry for the original gate. Where? You see? Oh, yeah. That little, there's that one there. Rusty thing, yeah. That one's gone, that side. But it's actually called Little Abbey Gateway. And this is obviously really, really old. And then that brickwork's probably two, three hundred year old. And that's like 30, 40 year old, isn't it, back there? So. I don't know if you know, but the actual city is surrounded by a wall. Uh, the city wall goes all the way around as and you can actually know, yeah. walk it. Yeah. But it's a fantastic walk, really, really good. Uh, it goes right past the race course. Uh, it's lovely actually, isn't it? Yeah, it goes all the way around. 
yeah. take some food because there's squirrels all the way around as well. I think, how long would you say it is? About a mile, mile and a half, two mile? Yeah, look at that Lisa. Pine pool. This, I want to find out which one it is. One of these pubs we've been in before and it's actually haunted. If I can find, it might be this one up here Mark. We'll go and have a look and find out which one it is. We sat in there, didn't we? Yeah, look at that look. I think it, that's the one that has accommodation. It has 31 yeah. rooms so you can stay in that one. I'm sure it's that one that's haunted. So all these timbers here go back to 1540. And look how pretty they've made it all. Mm. What's that saying? It used to be a barber's shop. There's a lot of these blue plaques everywhere around Chester showing you the history. As we explained earlier on, you can actually access the walls um, all the way around the city. This is one of the steps going up to it now and it goes all the way around. Fantastic yeah. walk. You've it, got to do it if you come you to come Chester. You come off it at the bottom and where we're parked near the race course, don't you? But that's all. But it goes yeah. up, it's a footpath all the way around. Yeah, it, but basically? you can get on and off all the way around it. Mm. Brilliant. So Mark's disappeared up them stairs. And there he is. Howdy ho. <laughs> so this just behind there, that's called the Bridge of Size. Now, the reason why it's called that is because prisoners used to be held over there then they'd be walked across here down there and they'd be read the last rites there before they got killed so they'd all killed. have to yeah they all used to get killed so they'd, they'd spend the night in there and anyone that's done anything wrong or has been sentenced to death this is where they used to cross over I'll show you the picture of how it used to look how they think it used to look so as you can see there someone's walking over then they go down there into that building, which is that one there. And it's, they'd be held in a dead man's room, Mark. Yeah, dead man's room. So the rain's gonna descend. I think we need to head back before we get absolutely wet through. Out, aren't we again? Yeah, Saturday evening, heading out, out on the town, eh? Get us. Yeah, so we're heading into Chester City for a night out. Um, let's go and see what we can find. I know there's some interesting pubs and restaurants up there, isn't there? I wouldn't surprise if we end up in uh, Weatherspoons again. Oh, where's Weatherspoons? <laughs> Mark's going on a hen do by the looks of it. Okay. Are you going with all the hens? Yeah. Mm. It's a bit of a hen do city, this, isn't it? I'm Everyone comes I, here. I found a kebab shop, I'm there for later. I'm saving myself till later, aren't I? Saving yourself? Well, there's no, let's just come across a Chinese, we won't, because we've been down here earlier on, haven't we? Yeah, we've already come down here, but it's drink time, not food time. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Chester. We've made it back. I'm curious about this pub, the Pad Bull. Let's go in and see if I can find out if I'm right. The ghost that they've seen in here is someone called John Davis and mm. apparently he was a legend that used to come in this pub and he fell down the cellar stairs with a knife and stabbed himself to death and that was in the 17th century. Well, the cellar is just the other side of the staircase here. So. Yeah. Uh, now, people have, have stayed here, there's, there's accommodation upstairs. They've said that they felt a cold breeze going past them. Um, and a couple who stayed in one of the rooms have also reported a particular figure um, looking at a book, reading a book in the corridor. So yeah, if you want to go and risk, try and stay here. Come and stay in one of the rooms above. 
and you might see John Davis. So we're just about to leave for Pine Pool, but before we do, look at the size of that knocker. And a little tiny little box. <laughs> I know you like your knockers. <laughs> off in chest tonight there's police everywhere what's going on Morning. Morning. Uh, this morning we are going to go and attempt the walk on the wall. Yeah, walk your chain. Um, we're off, off going to the wall today, um, but before we do, we've got to keep hydrated. Got us drinks, haven't we? Yeah, so thanks to Super Sparrow for sending us these flasks. I've got one there. I've got a snazzy one in a bag. Yeah. So yeah, they keep your hot drinks hot for 12 hours, which is great for me. Yeah, and, and the cold drinks for me, my soda stream, how long for? 24 hours. Yours would not last 24 hours or your drinks. The already drunk half of it already. So check out below if you're interested in having a look at these. Uh, we've got a 10% discount code. Uh, it's on the screen now. Thanks for sending us these because they're going to keep us hydrated for going around this wall all day. Mm. We're going to need it today. Right, I'm going to go get another beer in this. So we've only walked on the wall for about five minutes, literally five minutes. The car park's just in front of me here where the bus is. Yeah. And look what we've got behind us. What is it? Chester Castle? Yeah. Not much to look at really. But that's how close everything is to this car park where we're stopping. Just found a little uh, information patch here and it's saying that the, the castle was built in 1070. I'll show you what it used to look like. <laughs> Apparently. But that's what you can see now. Not much left really, is there? Look at him, Mark. Look at him farting, look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> King Charles Tower is this, isn't it? Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just coming up to the cathedral. We're sort of probably about halfway around now, aren't we? Um, it's warm. It's, it, how long is a walk? Probably two or three miles, something like that. It's not yeah. mega, is it? It's a bit rough and un unlevel in places, but uh, but the good thing is every few yards you've something to stop and look at, haven't you? Everything, so, everywhere, everywhere's just packed with history. Yeah, from squirrels to water to canals. But everything's so well kept in Chester as well. It's yeah. a really, really pretty city. Yeah, and you've got all the generations of the buildings if you're into architects and all that sort of stuff. Just be warned, if you are going to do the walk uh, of the outer wall, the path is very, very uneven. Yeah, it's so make sure you wear some decent footwear. Yeah, it's good for every so. Has anyone else ever been to Chester? Um, write down below if you know somewhere that we haven't visited this weekend, and because we're only about an hour away from Chester, an hour and a half. Yeah, something like that. Uh, we'd love to come back. So if you can recommend anywhere that we need to go and have a look at, put it in the comments below. Jesus, look at all this. This is this what I'm saying. Every few yards, you've something to look at. What's he seeing now? That's like a, a pigeon house down there. Can you see? Oh, no, I wouldn't like to be down there. Look at them all. Look, they're all over that. Shall I shall go down and get no, birds? No, no. I couldn't cope them. with that. I'm not right keen on things that flap in your face like that. It's absolutely full. Cool. The birds, aren't they? They must love pigeons. <laughs> So we just stopped off and had something to eat at a pub just over the road, over there. Really nice. Katsu burger. Never had one of them before. But we looked out the window and we saw this across the road, like you do, a Roman amphitheatre. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Just looking out your window and seeing a Roman amphitheatre like this. Mm. Well, it's half of it, isn't it? It would have been round at one point. But... It's like they've excavated it, isn't it? Yeah. There's bits over there. There's a bit of wall down here. 
can't get the feel for it really. An amphitheatre is where it were all like round, isn't it? Yeah. Where staggered where people can sit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, feel packed up, aren't we? Yeah, packed up for another weekend. I'm gonna go and see what the damage is now at the ticket machine. Ticket there, isn't it? So. Yeah. It's gone really funny. Apparently, there's gonna be a massive thunderstorm tonight. But the wind's getting, it's really warm though still. Mm. Sickly warm. Ugh. Yeah, I might be a bit sick even more when I see how much this is going to cost. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a right lot. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Two nights we've had, but we didn't get here till seven o'clock on Friday night. So after six, I believe it's a bit cheaper. So let's go and see. Moment of truth. <laughs> Is that all it's charging us? Mm. Eh? Ring them up and say you want to pay some more. Eight pound, it's, but it's eight pounds after twelve hours of being here. Oh. oh well. It must be anything over, so over twelve hours, eight quid. Right now. Hey, hey! Us Northerners like a cheap weekend. That's better than I thought it were gonna be. I'll give you a ticket back. So. Well, better get out of Dodge before someone comes and tells us we haven't paid enough, but we've paid what it said on the machine, haven't we? Eight quid. All right, it's two nights, four I, quid a night. I'll be back. <laughs> there's no facilities, so you know, there's nothing here. There's no facilities, no, it's a car park, but during the daytime, like I said yesterday, they do have this cafe open, mm. and there were people sat out last night when we came back, yeah. Mark. Yeah, yeah. So. Eight quid. That's it then, isn't it? And so, don't forget, if you like this video, you know what you need to do subscribe like give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment telling us if you've been to Chester if you're gonna go to Chester or if you want to know any information about Chester we can help you we sure will do but for now we'll see you next time <laughs>